Hello, lovers of Yoruba language. Once again, I welcome you to this channel. And today, I have another important topic to discuss in our Yoruba learning journey. Today, we will be talking about professions in Yoruba culture. Professions in Yoruba culture. The term professions uh, is referred to as Ishe, or we can say Awan Ishe, Amandaju. Awan Ishe, Amandaju. What that means is that uh, these are uh, the professions or occupations that one is an expert in. Amandaju means being an expert. So what you do that you're an expert in, so is the term uh, professions. And the Yoruba say, I want to share Amodaju. Now let's go ahead and try to understand what Yoruba people call different professions in Yoruba. Again, the term profession or job or occupation uh, is generally referred to as Ishe. Ishe. Or Ishe Aje. Both means the same thing. Ishe or Ishe Aje. So Aje here means something that you do that gives you money that fetch you money. IJ is like one of the Yoruba gods, one of the Yoruba Orisha. So Orisha IJ is a god of wealth. So it makes you wealthy. So uh, Ishe or Ishe IJ is something that you do that makes you wealthy. And that is why the Yoruba people call profession Ishe or Ishe Aje. Now let's go ahead and look at different professions in Yoruba culture. Civil servant, Osise Ijoba, Osise Ijoba. O si se i joba. Here, the term o si se i joba comprise of two words o si se and i joba. O si se here means worker, while i joba is associated with government. I joba is the term used to describe government in Yoruba. So, o se i joba literally translate to government worker that is civil servant artisan Unishe Owo Unishe Owo Onishe Owo. Here, Onishe means worker or someone that does something. Why Owo means and. Owo literally means and. H A N D in Yoruba. So Onishe Owo means someone that uses his hand to to his or her day to day job. So that's the term used to describe an artist. Huh? Farmer. Hagbe. 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 D 
driver a wako a wako a wako just a quick note uh, remember when trying to pronounce your bar words it's very important that you pay attention to the tonal signs on those words in this case of our core that will be re re do re re do our core so if you are interested in knowing more about tonal signs there is a video i did earlier on tonal signs in Yoruba language and how it can help you to correctly pronounce and read Yoruba words. Check that video out. The link will be up here uh, in this video. Gadna. Ologba. Ologba Ologba So this is literally someone that owns a garden or someone that takes care of a garden. So Ogba is like a garden. Olo the Olo is from the word Oni, the owner of a garden. So Oni plus Ogba constrict or contract to form Ologba in Yoruba. And that means the owner of a garden, the gardener. Might not necessarily mean the owner, but the person that takes care that takes care of the garden at that point in time is the gardener and is the Ologba. Re mi do or log back. Janitor I saw back. I If you are paying attention, you can see that that's kind of very similar to the Yoruba word for gardener, which is Ologba. They are both from the same root word Ogba, which means garden. By garden, it does not necessarily mean where uh, we grow crops or uh, where we grow plants or fruits. It might just mean a, 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 a big complex, a, a, a building that someone needs to, to monitor. It could be a school, it could be a church, it could be a, a government a building, public building that someone needs to take care of, clean, you know, look after. So in this word asogba it's comprised of two words aso and ogba aso here is to take care of or to to to, to keep an ogba so the person that keeps the the garden the building is the asogba so actually casually you can use both ologba and asogba interchangeably but Asogba is more common for the word janitor, while Ologba is for gardener. And you can see that both carry the same tonal sign. Re, mi, do. Asogba. Re, mi, do. Ologba. That's very important. Again, check out that video I did on tonal signs uh, in the link. Uh, in this video, security guard. Oh, 
or de or de or or lot de or lot de so these two words or de or or lot de literally means hunter so these are the same word we use to describe hunter the person that hunts in Yoruba so but we use the same word to describe a security guard someone that is specifically in charge of security of a place it can be a public building like I mentioned earlier kind of similar to the Asogba but in this case these people are empowered by law to take charge to look after the security of that building or of that school that church that mosque that government uh, building that supermarket so they are referred to as ode or olode in yoruba culture or language ranger Asogbo 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 That's re mi mi re mi mi So uh, this word also comprises of two words maybe more than two words actually a ah. So, bo, it's comprised of three words. Ah, so, bo, ah, in this case, signifies a person. So, signifies to, to monitor or take care or to secure. Bo is from Igbo, which is forest. In Yoruba, Igbo means forest. So the person that takes care of a forest is called Asogbo in Yoruba and that's Ranger. Hunter or De or De or or lot de or lot de so these terms are used interchangeably to means hunter or security guard as the case may be so this term literally is from the word de which means to hunt to de is to hunt so all day or all lot there is a person that hunts so hunter here is all day or a lot there so i hope you are liking the video so far if you are please do well to subscribe to this channel and try to like and comment also do well to share the video with your folks that might be interested in learning Yoruba language. Yeah, we are trying to build a community that is passionate about learning Yoruba language, even as we join in to learn and teach together. Thank you. Fisherman. Apeja 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 So this is also a combination of words. Three words were contracted or constricted to form Apeja. And this was a A Pa 
eja a plus pa plus eja a is the person pa is to kill why eja is fish so the person that kill fish is referred to as a peja fisherman a peja Palm wine tapa. A cope. A cope. A cope. Like most words described so far, a cope is also a combination of words which are a plus co plus ope ope is the root word here which is the palm tree a is the person co is to cultivate in some sense but in this case it's more like to to prone to prune, P R U N E, to prune, to uh, kind of dress the the pantry, you know, to remove the uh, the old palm fine, and then to dress the palm fine. So that's that's literally what it means. The person that 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 prune dresses the palm tree uh, is the acope. Uh, the same acope is the one that will remove the palm kernel, the fruit, the, 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 the palm tree fruit. Yeah, and also the same person that will uh, tap wine. Acope. Re do. Re. author or writer Unkowe 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 Do do me Do do me this term describes someone that writes. It can be to write a book or to author a book. Own call we. So those are three words. Own means the person that that call means to write. We is from we, which means book. Can means letter, it can means book. So Uncle Wei is the person that writes letter, somebody someone that writes book. Uh that's the term used to describe either an author or a writer. Publisher on On the way, on the way, just like on the way, on the way consists of three words, which are the on the and the way. On is a person, the is the process of printing. Why a way is book or paper so the person that prints book is the on the way or publisher as the English refer to it secretary A call we 
akowe 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 consists of three words a ko and we as a person call is to write and we is book or notes or letter as the case may be the person that writes is called akowe but in reality our fathers the uh, forefathers our grandfathers use akowe to describe any person that works in office it may not necessarily be a secretary any person that does any office job it can be a government worker that put on suits and tie you know akowe is a general term to they use to describe them they say words like alakowe akowe or alakowe so that term is used to describe people that put on suit and tie in the morning it can be a bank worker or a teacher or a government worker a doctor they use a lack of way which is a variant of alcove to describe them so the term alcove actually accommodates uh, a lot of our uh, professions professions that are you can refer to as fanciful yeah or fancy as the case may be lawyer agbejoro 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 ho amofi ha mofi ha mofi the term agbejoro means an advocate someone that speaks for you on your behalf so it consists of uh, numbers of words a ba ejo ru a is a word which means the person ba that stands in on your behalf ejo ejo means to 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 speak to uh to talk it's literally uh the 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 the, the case that that we are dealing with rule is the process of actually speaking so agbejo is somebody that stand on your behalf to uh advocate for you what amufi is from ama ofi amufi the person that has the knowledge of the law ofi is the law or rules or constitution so someone who has the knowledge of the law is amufi so both words are used interchangeably to me as a lawyer judge a dajo a dajo a dajo this literally means this person that gives a verdict on a case someone that gives a final say on a case uh is referred to as the adagio so adagio is from a da a jo a is a person da is to is to weigh you know to weigh 
to consider to 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 analyze and give a it HO HO is like the case in question. Please or lopa or lopa or lopa or agbo firo agbo firo Agbo Firo. These two words are used interchangeably to mean a place. Olopa is literally derived from the rod that police used to use in the olden days. So in Nigeria during the uh, colonial period, The police are like uh, uh, probably they were not equipped with a gun. I don't know, but literally they use a rod, and that rod is called opa. So the person that uses a rod uh, is called the olopa, the owner of the rod. The olopa means owner of the rod. Yeah, so that was how that name comes to stay or Lopa. Why Agbofiro is the term that describes the actual work of a police, which is to uphold the law. Agbe Ofiro means to uphold the law. Actually, to uphold the law. So the person that upholds the law is uh, Agbo Firo. And uh, Ofe is the law. To bureau is to uphold. Yeah. Immigration officer. 
asobude 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 so this term also describes what they do and it consists of uh, three different words put together a plus so plus ibo de a is the person so is to monitor ibo de is the word to describe the frontiers the border or the boundary the the go uh, the post so the person that monitors the frontier or the border is the assault body firefighter partner partner Pardon, pardon. Pardon, pardon. So, uh, this word describes what they do, which is to put off the fire. So, I don't know why do black people desire to uh, kind of double the word because partner will have been enough to describe what they are trying to say but they want to emphasize it that we are putting up this fire partner partner so they have to say it twice <laughs> and this is not the only word there are other words in which things have to be said twice just for the sake of the emphasis to emphasize its importance to emphasize the significance of the act or the job so partner means to put off the fire ina is the fire pa is to kill to kill the fire so the word itself is more like an act than uh, a, a noun it's more like a a verb with a object that because there is no subject <laughs> so but that's what they call it anyway pana pana pa is to kill ina is fire so pa ina means to kill the fire to extinguish the fire so the person that put off the fire is about to ask pa no pa no military Ologo 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 Ha Jago Jago Chaco, 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 Chaco. So these two words describe the military, and the term Ologon literally means the owner of the war, the owner of the battle, Ologon. So it means the person that gets involved, involved in the battle that's a logo yeah i think that's that's it that's it the correct translation the person that gets involved in the battle or logo why jago jago is the actual word that describes what they do which is to fight just like pano pano so they desire to emphasize this uh, emphasize this as well Jago, Jago. Ah, our forefather, the try. <laughs> Jago, Jago. So, uh, what this means is that 
they fight war. In chat is the time used to, to describe fight in Yoruba. Okun is war or battle. Ja Okun. Ja Okun. Ja Okun. Ja Okun. The person that Ja Okun, the person that fight the war or battle is referred to as Ja Okun. Ja Okun. Headmaster or principal or guy ilewe or guy ilewe or guy ilewe this term describes the head of a school Oga in Yoruba means the head, the boss. Ilewe is school. So Oga Ilewe means the head of a school. It can be a primary school or high school and even university. Oga Ilewe is used to describe the head of a school. Teacher Oluko 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 O Oluko Ni Oluko Ni Oh, look, honey. So these two words are used interchangeably to me, teacher. Or somebody that teaches the other people. Oh, look, honey means the person that teaches. The same thing is true for Olukone. The only difference is that Olukone is popularized by the Bible. So during the translation of the Bible to Yoruba, Olukone is used to describe Jesus. So when you're reading Yoruba Bible, you see them referring to Jesus as Olukoni instead of Oluko. But in the day to day, in our contemporary day to day use of Yoruba language, we refer to the teacher as Oluko more than Olukoni. Student Akeko Akeko Akeko. This is the term used to describe students. Uh, it is not limited to people that go to school alone. Anyone that learn from another person or another institution is referred to as Akeko. So Akeko means the person that learn a lesson or that learn a learning. A ko a ko. A is the person. Ko is to learn. A ko is like a lesson, a lesson or a learning. A ke ko. Professor. Oh, job. 
ma ojopa ojopa this term is used to describe ojopa and it means somebody that is in possession of wisdom Uh, Ogba is the term used to describe wisdom. So you back will see a professor as someone that has attained a wise man status. Like they are wise due to their long years of experience in their area of field of study. So a professor is rather as all job man. Doctor, in this case, a PhD older and academics, uh, is referred to as all my way, all my way, or Mawe, and the term of Mawe means the person that knows a topic that, that, that has an expertise in a field. They, they have a knowledge in that particular field. That's why they use the term of Mawe to describe a doctor. A PhD order. Doctor, that is a medical doctor or a physician. Onishego in your book. Onishego in your book. Onyibo or Dokita 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 So these two terms are used to describe a medical doctor Onishiku Onyibo Means someone that has expertise in the white man's medicine. When you both, it's time you describe white man in Yoruba. So, Onishegu is someone that goes into medicine. It can be Aba medicine, can be Trado tra medicine, but in this case, white man's medicine. Because they believe that uh, the white man medicine, medicine as it is known this day, was imported into the Yoruba land. So they use the term, I mean, by, by white men, so they use the term Unishigu Onyibo, the person that is involved in white man medicine, to describe a doctor. But Sometimes we can also use a loan loan word dokita. As you can see, dokita has a similitude to uh, in hearing to doctor. So it was borrowed from doctor. And uh, sometimes people use dokita, which is a corrupted fashion of a doctor to a battle a medical doctor. Well, they can also use the term Dokita to refer to a, an academic doctor anyway. Dentist. Dokita Eleni. Dokita Eleni. 
Del Kita Elaine. What this tells us is that a dentist is a doctor that deals in the teeth. Any is the term used to describe teeth. Yoruba. So a doctor that deals in teeth is the Dokita Elaine. Vet doctor Onishego Elako Onishego Elako Onishego Elako So the term Onishego here means the person that deals in medicine. Erako is the term for animals. So the person that this with animal medicine uh, is the Onishego Erako. Nurse. Onitoju. Oni toju Oni toju Ha Olu toju Olu toju Olu toju so the two words are used interchangeably to mean someone that takes care of another person. The key word, the root word here is it told you to take care of another person. So only it told you is the owner of the, the person that takes care. So we use these two words to mean a nurse. Midwife Ag baby Ag baby Ag baby This is a combination of words which means to help deliver a birth to help deliver a baby. Pharmacist Apogun Oyibo Apogun Oyibo Apogun Oyibo. So, Apogun Oyibo is used to describe a pharmacist. Apogun means someone that mixes, literally makes someone that mixes medicine. And Oyibo is uh, the term for white, or the white man. So someone that mixes a white man medicine, which is different from the traditional medicine, uh, is called apogun. Oyibo. A bo ogun. A is the person. Bo is the act of mixing. Or to prepare or to manufacture. Though a pharmacist don't manufacture drugs pharmacists as we know it these days don't manufacture drugs but that's the term the Yoruba uses apple the person that makes this uh, white man's drug salesman Olu Taja Olu Taja 
Ulutaja or Olocha Olocha Olocha. So both words are used interchangeably, and the key word, the root word here is Oja. Oja is like a, a term to describe a market. Oja can be used to describe a market, or it can also be used to describe the goods, like the stuff that you sell in the market, like the pepper, the tomato, the fish, your 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 consumables that you sell in the market so uh not just consumables it can uh, it can also make uh different other stuff since that the service that you offer generally so is the order so the person that olutaja is the time that means the one that sells the goods why Oloja means the owner of the goods. So but both words are literally used to describe a assessment. Trader or businessman. Only so only so only so so trader businessman or an entrepreneur these three words can be described using only so and that's literally someone that gets involved in entrepreneurship endeavor someone that do buying and selling oh is the art of buying and selling is the art of entrepreneurship or business or trading so only is the person that does trading that does business that does entrepreneurship only show sportsman Eliri Idaraya Ileri Idaraya Ileri Idaraya So Ileri Idaraya are words that are used to describe a sportsman. Ileri is a term that try to portray the art of showmanship so the act of showmanship that involve athleticism is a little idaraya. idaraya is athleticism something that involves physical activities physical exercise that makes the idaraya is in its uh, uh, in its literal translation means something that means the body to be healthy and that is referring to physical exercise that you do that makes you to be healthy so a uh, little uh, the, the the person that gets involved in activities that makes you to be healthy is called is a little idaraya doesn't necessarily have to be an athlete it can be a footballer that, that is a soccer player it can be um other other form of games like uh table tennis football it can be wrestling though there are other times used to describe wrestling yeah but any activities that involve uh, physical activities is virtuous and the person that gets involved in it or that does that thing is called idaraya.
director oh gagba oh ga agba oh ga agba that means the boss may use just oga instead of ogagba ogagba sometimes may have a condition of uh, uh, the the head the overall boss it can be the managing director or the the chairman sometimes but Oga is uh, a very decent word to use to describe a uh, director. Hector Osere Ori Itage Osere Ori Itage Osiri means the person that place. Uri is on the Itage is the stage. So the person that plays on the stage is an actor. Because when the act of uh, acting was being introduced or started in the Yoruba, learned it started as a form of a stage play so the stage is itage and so an actor is described as someone that play on the stage or that acts on the stage Osiri Uri Itage Engineer Onima Ero Onima Ero Onima Ero Oh Amoju Ero Amoju Ero Amoju Ero These two terms are used to describe an engineer. Onima Ero is the term used to describe someone that has a knowledge or an understanding of a machine. Error is machine. Only man is someone that has a knowledge. Someone with a knowledge with an understanding of how machine works. Why a moju error is literally someone that understands a machine. Someone that understands a machine. Just like the the owner of the dog understands the dog it's exactly you can describe that same relationship as someone that has a complete understanding of a machine is a mutual so the machine will only respond to that person so a mutual Scientist Onima Ijinle Onima Ijinle Onima Ijinle Onima means someone with a knowledge. Each other means something that is 
deep. So let me you let me someone that has a deep knowledge. Sometimes they say unimagine science. But unimagine is actually a no word to describe uh, someone that has a deep knowledge, uh, a knowledge of deep things, things that are not just, you know, physical to our um, our own aided eye, especially when it deals with basic uh, STEM subjects. So, you better use Unima Ichile, someone with a knowledge of deep things to describe a scientist. Journalists. Oniroi. 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 This term describes someone that deals in news. Basically, it's like the person that deals with news. Newscaster. Akaruni. 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 And this means someone that reads the news. Aka Ironi. Ironi is the news. A is the person. Ka is to read. So the person that reads the news is the newscaster. Broadcaster. Agbo fe fe. Agbo un sa fe fe. So, this word describes a broadcaster in the general term, in the general sense. It does not necessarily mean a newscaster. It could be a broadcaster of other program that is not necessarily a news. And the term Agbon Save Fe enunciate that process. So Agbon Save Fe is like someone in the literal translation is like someone that raises their voices to the air. That's someone that speak to the air, E I I. And the AFF is the air. Agbe on Safe somebody that someone that broadcasts. Irrespective of what you broadcast, irrespective of what you talk about, in as long as you are on the the air broadcasting. So you are Agbe on Safe. Presenter Ato Kun Ato Kun Ato Kun Ato Kun is the term used to describe a presenter. So I may add it to to means a talk to a presenter of a program. So, but generally, a presenter is referred to as a, a talk in Yoruba. Producer. 
Olotu 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 is used to describe a producer and uh, you can hear them sometimes say Olotu to if you listen to your back channels you hear them say Olotu to and what that means is the producer of a program program is eto so a producer of a program is Olo Tweto Yi. Here they say Olo Tweto Yi. So that is the producer of this program. Yeah. Accountant. O Lucio. O Lucio. O Lucero. If you like, you might put O at the end. That is O Lucero, which means someone that can't money. But O Lucero is enough to really communicate what you are trying to say. Like an accountant. An accountant can't money, and sometimes you that want to. Kind of emphasize what the person can't do zero over the person that can't money or account for money. Architect. Ajawura ile. Aya wura ile Aya wura ile Aya wura means someone that draws or takes a picture Why ile is out Someone that takes the picture or draws the picture of a house it's called Ayawara. So Ayawara is the time used to describe anyone that either takes the picture like a photographer or draw like an artist. They are both Ayawara. In this case, they are drawing or taking a picture of a house and that is an architect. Pastor. Oluso Aguta Oluso Aguta Oluso Aguta So this term describe a pastor and here Oluso means Someone that look after an agutan is sheep. So someone that looks after a sheep or sheep that is a shepherd. So that is the term used to uh, describe a pastor in Yoruba. Uluso Aguta Pilot Awako Ofurufu Awako Ofurufu Awa ko ufu ufu. Remember the term Awa ko means driver. Ufu ufu is the sky or the space. So a driver 
of the space car or space uh, vehicle is called a pilot. Awaoko, the full full, someone that drives a car in the space, the one that drives an airplane. An airplane is called Oko full full. So I work on Fufu is a plane driver, a pilot. Train driver. I work on Redoué. I work on Redoué. I work on Reloué. So our call is a town for driver. Why Reloué is a town for a train? Of course, you can see that that kind of sounds like a railway. So Reloué is actually a borrowed, a loaned word from railway. So our call Reloué is someone that drives a train. chef or cook or ketra alasi 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 or ulupo ulupo Olopo. So this term literally describes a person that cook. I say the term that means to cook. The person that cook is the uh, alase. Food seller. Olunche 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 means the person that sells food. Olunche is the root word here and it means food. Bocha Alapata 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 So this term describes a person that kill to sell person that kills to sell. So uh, a butcher will sacrifice animal to sell them. So it describes what it do. Brick layer or builder or Malay or Malay or Malay. So or Malay means the person that built a house. It consists of three words. Or, which in this case is the person. Ma. Ma. M-O is 
the process of building is a fab to build. Lay is from ile, which is uh, a, a building or a house. So the person that builds a building or a house is or male. Carpenter. Benna, Benna. Benna, Benna. Benna, Benna. This word is used to describe a carpenter, and again, you can see how they emphasize the term Benna. Welder, a jury, a jury, a jury, a jury means the person that weld iron. A plus Jo plus Eri. Jo is the act of welding or the act of joining together through the welding process. Eri is the iron. But I think that could also be used to mean metal in general. Blacksmith. Or ghostmeat. I like bed there. I like bed there. I like bed there. Potter. Ama koko. Ama koko. Ama koko. So this term means someone that make pottery. Using clay, hama koko, baba, oni ba jama, oni ba jama. Oni Bajama. These days you hear people say term like Gary Gary to me Baba. However, the actual word for Baba is Oni Bajama. Hairdresser. Oni Diri Oni Diri Oni Diri Oni Diri is the term that describes a person that weave or braid or plate your hair or need theory. Taylor
So there are different terms that are used to describe it, you know, ranging from Aranso. Aswabere Dubu and sometimes Amunidara Aranso Aranso This word describes the actual process of tailoring to make a dress that's tailoring uh, right, so I saw his dress or clothes to make a clothes is the art of tailoring so the person that makes a clothes is called Aaron so however we have seen people with that to tailor as I saw a buried duo that is a long word actually uh, it's more like a sentence <laughs> that is constricted to form a single word. Uh, the full sentence is I saw a bere di uwo. That's like five words together. And what that process describes is that. A tailor is a person that make money, that earn money from, from the needle, from the needle. So it's just a fun way to which you about to describe things. You know, to the process of tailoring traditionally is knitting, using the art of needle to knit and you know, make clothes. So people earn money, people earn a living from the art of needling. I saw a bear, a bear is needle. The uwu is money or wealth. I saw is to change. The person that saw, the person that changes needle into money or that hand money from the needle is I saw a bear, the uwu is the tailor. And these days we also hear people say, Amunidara. Amunidara. Though that does not really describe the process of tailoring. Amunidara is a term that tells about how one becomes uh, beautiful through the art of putting on new clothes. You know, when you put on, the tailor is considered a person that makes you look beautiful, makes you look neat, makes you look uh, clean because you put on a, a new coat makes you look good so that's the term amunidara laundryman alagbafo alagbafo A lagba for. So this term describes the act of collecting clothes and washing for other people. A lagba for. A lagba is to is the person that go and collect for and wash. For is the act of washing when you wash it for. Ba is to collect. A is the person that ba that collects. To wash a lag buffer is the art of laundry and mm. for washing clothes for other people. So a lag buffer is the is the laundry man, the person that washes clothes for other people. Shoemaker or cobbler. So butter. So butter. So butter. So this word literally just describe what they do. Like the men's shoe, 
but I shoe. So is to men. The person that men shoe is a so bazaar. Uh, actually, that should be a cobbler, but at the same time, it's used to describe a shoemaker as well. Photographer. Ayawuna. 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 A photographer is someone that takes the image. Or something. I will run is the image. So the person, the process of taking the image is to is to ya. So the person that ya I will run or takes the image is a photographer. It's an I ya wo run. Musical artist. A lyric. A lyric, a lyric. So this time describes someone that is a showman. You know, they, that perform a performer on stage. It can be by f using his or her voice or musical instrument. In you know, as long as he or she entertain. So it's a very more like an entertainer. Singer or choir or chorister. Olori. 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 Or Akori. Akori. A core. So this two word can describe singer and choir respectively. Singer is more like Olori. Why choir? As in church choir. It's a core. So you don't hear them say Olori for church choir. They use our choir for church choir. While Olori is like a secular artist, people that sing other form of food, other form of music like Fuji, Juju, uh, even Afrobeat. So they are all alone. That choir is more like reserved for the church. Drama Onilu 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 O Aya Aya Aya. So Onilu is a word that describes the person that beats a drum. Why Aya is a clan, C L A N, of Yoruba people that specializes in the art of music and are known for drumming. They are like the clan of Yoruba people that have expertise in drumming. And you can identify people from that clan through their last name, through their surname. Their last name usually starts with the prefix I. You hear his last name like Ayanwali. Ayan Wusi Ayan Deadly. So, wherever you hear names like this, 
it testifies to the father the ancestors of the bearer of those names are skilled drummers or musicians they come from the clan of Yoruba that are skilled or experts in the art of music including beating drums and they especially beat the percussion drum known as Gaga and Bata because they are so skilled in it and they can communicate with Gaga so these two words Unilu is a general term why is like a family name is a like a clan name for people that beat drum among the Yoruba people dancer Onicho 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 so Onicho is someone that dance Ijo is dance Onicho is someone that does the dancing Comedian Adere Poson Adere Poson Adere Poson Oh Halawada Alawada Alawada So Adere Posono is a long word and what it really says is that a comedian makes an indifferent person to smile. A comedian is a person that brings smiles out of someone that is completely indifferent, someone that is difficult to, 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 to find out, someone that will keep to himself. Osono is such person, someone that you can't really read, someone that will not smile, someone that, you know, it's very deep but if you as a person is talented enough to make such person to smile to make him to to smile the Yoruba will consider you as a comedian so that's why they call a comedian a daring person or the general term allowed our award is just like someone that joke around so that's not a common term though. Ada in Posono is more common and uh, it's very nuanced as well. Not just common, it's nuanced because it's really describe what a comedian does. It makes someone that don't care, someone that does not care, it makes them to, to, to care, it brings them to, to the present make them to smile so yeah that's a comedian herbalist babalawu 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 or Actually, people do use Babalao to represent the Abalis, but in the actual sense, Babalao is an Ifa 
worshiper, someone that 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 practice divination, in fact divination, and that does not necessarily mean that they are into herbalist. So the most the closest word that describe what a herbalist do is a lay someone that deals with herbs, someone that deals with leaves and roots. So a lay but people use babalao. That's what they use. But I believe babalao is a is a is someone that 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 does oracle talk to, to uh, through ifa ifa divination. That that is a uh, uh, babalao. But anyway, babalao is also used uh, to represent an herbalist. You can also use baba lewiyoma or just a lewiyoma uh, to be an herbalist. King Oba 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 Queen Olori 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 O Ayaba 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 Prince Oma Oba Oma Oba Oma Oba Princess Oma Oba Obiri Oma Oba Obiri Oma Oba Obiri Politician Olo Selu Olo Selu Olo Selu Governor Gomina 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 President Are 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 So at this point we will be calling it a day for this video. If you like the video, please do well to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button on your screen. Also try to share with your people and like the video, like and comment. Thank you so much for staying with me up to this point. Also try to check out some of my other videos where I teach Yoruba. Once again, thank you.
for staying with me up to this point and we shall see again hold double